So as you see the guests entering the zoo, my friends, it's time, finally, for a brand new episode of our City Zoo Build, Tropical Wings Zoo. Well, as you all know, gang, I have been hard at work, basically, prepping for today's episode. It's been some time as well since we've been here in Tropical Wings to take a look around. I've been working really, really hard on the rebuild project, and I've been kind of teasing on Discord that we were close to a new episode and of my plans going forward after this one. We're all going to talk about all of this in today's video. I have rebuilt Primates of Africa basically almost from the ground up the main structure of the building has pretty much stayed the same but there has been some major major changes so my friends join me as we take a look around the new and improved primates of africa so here we are my friends we are at the entrance of tropical wing zoo and we are going to dive in and we're going to take a look at the new and improved primates of africa it has undertaken a complete rebuild basically the main structure is as it was but the majority of the surrounding areas and the internal stuff has all been done um this could potentially be quite a lengthy video but i'm going to try to stop the waffling keep it as short as possible and just show off all of the best of the new in, new improvements that the zoo has kind of gone through since i've redone primates of africa so Let's just head on over and get on with it. So the first thing that got done in the area was I reworked the, the park that's here. Uh, we've actually changed out all of the kind of uh, uh, wooded um, area. It used to be that um, stone design. Now I'm using this wood. I think it looks really, really cool, gang. Absolutely loving it. And I've redone all of the planting. This planting does look a little different to the other planting, you know, around these areas. Done that intentionally because I wanted it to feel like it was on its own. Now, Primates of Africa, as you can see, uh, we've framed the building using these Korean pines and then we've just added some bushes, some grasses, got some signs in, reworked all of the stairs. We've really capped it all off nicely with this stone design as well. Uh, chairs, bins, all that stuff. I, I genuinely think it looks really, really nice, like really welcoming now when you walk up to the front of the building. I was going to put a sign on the top. Instead, I've decided to put a sign here and I've put one on the building. And genuinely, if you would have seen how it looked before, this iteration looks far, far nicer. So yeah, that's kind of what we've done. Um, now, if we were to go up to the building and we will kind of, I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna enter the building, we'll go through that, and then I'll show you like an overview of the, the whole building on the top. And I'll show you some of the other little bits and bobs as well that are quite interesting about the build. But uh, yeah, let's head on in to the new and improved primates of africa so you're now welcomed with this quite quite big open space to be fair um i feel like this room probably needs something but um i was i'm in an r in at what it needed i really didn't know what to do and so i left it uh you know me gang if uh, if i'm really not sure i will just leave it and that's what i've done this new path design uh, is designed so that the concrete is almost the bit that guides you around primates of africa now that's it's very intentional and i think that the color combinations and the way that it's done really really pops and it's just a different way of doing the flooring and i'm a big fan of it i really really am because i'm i feel like i just i'm a big cop out when it comes to flooring i either tile it or i just cover it in plaster whereas this was um a bit more intricate windows have been redone uh, really cool uh, view out of these windows into the zoos. Really, really love it. Uh, but yeah, that's all been redone. Now we go into the first viewing area, gang, and there's been, uh, you know, obviously a lot of work done here, but this was the hardest part of uh, Primates of Africa for me to work on, to be honest with you. It was really, really difficult because this was built in such a particular way, this building, that if you try and edit it, things just don't line up and it's impossible to get them to line up. So I didn't do too much to it. We changed the floor out. Um, I, I tidied the windows up. Uh, I've actually made them feel a a little deeper than they were before changed all the lighting and the vents and stuff on the ceiling and around the edge there um, and then I've just added some education and stuff really really simple really simplistic still looks amazing on the outside of the building as it did before but it just was a case of trying to clean this up uh, the glass here is unfortunately the habitat uh, barrier glass so it does um, get run down it does need repairing but um, I physically couldn't use the other glass uh, on this because of the shape of the building and uh, the way it's kind of put together one of those things uh, you can't win them all um, 
these are, these are really cool, these education boards, and I'll show you those in a moment. We've still got this door that kind of goes out that way uh, for the staff access um, yeah, and to the outside of the building. And uh, then we've got this like really, really cool uh, custom kind of... Um, uh, artwork here which is like meet the troop um which is you know the six members of our gorilla troop here at tropical wings uh you'll see i've affectionately named them jeshi which is simply swahili for troop but i thought it was just these little touches are really really nice and there's like little uh little fact files on each member of the troop uh even the uh the two girls that have been born here at tropical wings which is really really cool nice little fact file uh for you uh to um to see and then like i say these education boards uh i'm loving this 0 0.5 board it's the easiest one to manipulate and uh you can really really make some great boards now these like double boards that i've made um for this facility in particular look really really amazing they really really do um before we continue on i just want to show you the new and improved gorilla yard um so this obviously over it went through a major overhaul basically i tidied all of these walls uh adjacent to the, the wall I, I, I tidied all them up changed the plant in, tidied all the planting up, redid all the grass. Uh, this really cool combination of the ball grass and this one that we got in the conservation pack is just amazing. You get this wild feel to it, and then you combine that with other plants and whatnot, and it just you just really get a really, really realistic, beautiful looking, you know, grassy yard with these areas that have been worn down and, and stuff like that. Like really, really top notch. And uh, you know, we got these uh bushes and stuff as well. Um, really, really tastefully, you know. You, you know done the, the the gorilla yard you know really adding stuff opening areas up like i i love it really really love it really really rate it and i really feel like the planting's really come to life but yeah it's not changed a huge amount just i i ripped all the planting out and redid all of the planting and i had to you know add some rocks and redo that and you know add some new bits because the big thing you're going to notice here in the gorilla yard is that this viewing area no longer exists and this one does um we completely changed that up um you know just so you can kind of take a look there used to be a viewing area here. it's now a wall inside here is now the discovery room which is a new addition to the to the project um and then i you, there used to just be two square windows here but instead i've opened all this room right up and you're going to get to see how just how opened up uh, it's been made it, it really feels great in there now and i've added this and trust me this viewing area is so good because it almost makes you feel like you're in the habitat it's a really really cool looking thing uh from the inside of the building um there's also this little area here so that keepers and stuff can come up onto the roof and they get a really really cool look at uh at the yard and they can kind of see everything that's going on uh, and even over into the bongos which when you look at this and you look at that you can see just how much of a rework a lot of this stuff needs um but anyway let's dive back inside because i, I really want to try to show you everything but keep the episode as short as possible i, I really don't want this to be uh, a ridiculously long uh you know kind of thing um as you can see with this walkway now it goes up here into the discovery room i decided to leave this little door here with the emergency exit i just really really like it. it's a really lovely touch so we walk up here gang and then this is the discovery room now i realized that um this isn't going to feel very complete and it was complete when i went to bed but i forgot to save the last thing i did which was this uh this bit over here there was loads of stuff like on here that was like all educational things and there was all notice boards and whatnot it was it was really really cool it probably won't be too much of a problem to me for me to go in and redo it but it's just one of them things and it's a pain in the backside that i forgot to save it it, I, it was very very late basically when i was uh, when i was building but the other wall is complete you can see we've got these like interactive screens that i've made the little buttons and whatnot so it would actually change the image that's that's on there like when the guests here kind of using it we've got another one there i know we kind of got this like how do you measure up sign um underneath the ground there is actually the the height comparison thing um so the the kids actually use uh this item which is really really cool i know it's not the greatest mock-up it isn't you know like it really really isn't um i kind of just you know used a few items to put this together but i really just wanted something that was a bit more custom just because i don't really like the way the one the in-game one looks but um uh but yeah i think it looks all right in here i think it looks pretty good and it does the job you know we're probably not going to see it all that much it really really does but i think um this room probably needs maybe a couple of benches and then just uh, this to be finished off. And I think it will be um, a-okay, you know. 
So if we go this way, all of this has all been cleaned up. Um, it was real mess, this build. You could see, uh, you know, this it, it, it was built so long ago. I think it was like episode seven or whatnot. So it did really need this rework. Now, this is my favorite part of uh, Primates of Africa now. It really, really is because it's all really, really opened up. I redid all the lighting and vents on the ceiling. I've redone all of the mandrels walkthrough. Um, which was very much needed. We've redone the rainforest room. We've added a window. We've opened, like, knocked walls down. We've really opened it all up. And on top of that, we've added this really exquisite viewing area. And this room now, uh, it just feels so different. It really does, like, trust me. And it was a really dark color as well. I, You know, using this lighter shade is so much nicer. We've got these pots as well. Um, I was inspired to make these pots. I was watching um, Mike's, like, Botanical Gardens uh, build, and I see he had these really big pots with these plants. I was like, how, what are they? Are they in the game? And I was, you know, then I had a look, and I was like, there's nothing remotely like that in the game. And then I was really, really staring at them, and I was like, they're plastic pieces. And he's just combined some stuff and made that. And that's a really, really cool idea that Mike did. And so, yeah, I've kind of taken that and I've, I've run with it. Really, really good. Like, I love being inspired by what other people are doing. And uh, look, if you haven't checked out Mike's Botanical Garden series, man, go check it out. That guy is on another level. Like, it really, really is. It's incredible. Um, if my voice sounds like it keeps cracking, I've actually had a bit of a sore throat, gang. So, yeah, uh, it's just one of those things. I really, really apologize. Um, anyway... In here, this is our brand new viewing area, and uh, I just absolutely love this as, as opposed to the other one that we used to have. I really, really didn't like the other one. I never liked it, even from day one when I built uh, the original Primates of Africa. And I always envisioned that the viewing area being a bit more like this, and I'm so glad that we've, uh, you know, like I've, I've taken the time to do a massive rebuild of this, um, of this facility, because trust me, when you get to add things like this, and it really kind of takes the build up a level in, you know, like from my standpoint, I absolutely love it. But um, we've got these edge educational boards again like they're they are all like really detailed gang by the way like i've really gone to town on all of these there's so much stuff like so much information that you can read and whatnot on them on them and uh you know really really took my time with all that stuff this actually takes so much time to do these custom boards but I think they're so, so worth it. I really, really do. Um, but this is a really, really good view of like um, uh, the uh, the facility and like a really different view as well for our guests because you get a really good view of the climbing frame uh, area. And uh, then you've got these like really kind of cool bushed, uh, bushy areas and there's like bits of wood they climb on and whatnot. And it just feels like you're really, really at one uh, with the gorillas uh, from this uh, from this standpoint. Not only is this a cool viewing area, but this um, was um, really, 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 really needed because it, it kind of made a natural barrier between these two um, habs. Which, from a just from a visual standpoint, for the realism, was really really needed, basically, gang. So yeah, um, it really really is cool. Um, the planting's so different as well. Like there's so much you know planting that was ripped out and whatnot. You know, it's really heavy on the mandrel side, but over here we've left it really open. And when we go to that mandrel viewing window, you're going to see my reasons for it. It's really made some beautiful sight lines um, from from that viewing uh, area. Um, as you can see, we've still got our little walkway that goes into the rainforest room, which we're going to take a look at now gang so um if we were to go around this way uh, as you can see we do have this little railing here uh at the top in case that they kind of want to stop there and kind of take a look at the the mandrels walking across uh we've changed all of that like really really neat now really tastefully done um but i'm absolutely loving it i'll, I'll take you through that in a moment but the big 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 change is the rainforest area. You will remember this wall used to go all the way up to this bollard. We didn't have any of this, but look how open and fresh it feels now. There's and, and the path works. The path goes around this way and it goes around this way and it goes through the middle. It all works. Like the, the guests can actually access the, the whole area as well, which is really, really cool. Uh, you know, it's something that I, I love for my um, zoos and my builds to be as interactive as possible and I feel like we've definitely kind of achieved that um, you know with the new rainforest room but the big change obviously is you know the use of this area here this used to just be an empty bit of space um, and it always really annoyed me um, and so uh, instead uh, I've added a bench in and some plants and whatnot and from the bench view now you can sit and you can take uh, a, pew, a pew and you can take a look 
at the uh, new and improved Rainforest Room. Now, I'm probably going to get hammered because um, the first time I built Primates of Africa, one of the big things that a couple of people said was um, the mandrels and the gorillas would be able to get in with each other in the Rainforest Room. The mandrels would be able to climb down, the gorillas would probably be able to climb up, they'd fight, they'd do this, that and the other. And I didn't disagree, and I do still agree with everything that people are saying. I... Ended up putting a wall, a little like wall at the top in, uh, using mesh and whatnot. It was literally the, the only thing I could really do. And it looked ugly. It really, really did. And so as much as I'm building for realism and I really want this zoo to look realistic and whatnot, sometimes you have to make sacrifices so that things look nice because it really didn't look great. And there just is no other way. There just really is no other way of creating a natural barrier between the two. So I know that that barrier isn't there. I know that it's going to look like it's just one room. The animals can all kind of like interact with each other. I, and I understand the issues because of the animals we're using. But it's just one of those things. For the sake of the way it looks, I've kind of made that sacrifice. So it's just one of those things, gang. But we've got a new viewing window here. And then, yeah, if I take you around this side, we've still got these really cool viewing windows uh, in the mandrels. They look really different now because obviously the mandrels yards all been redone. Got a little bit of education there as well, but you'll see like the mandrels yards really, really been uh, overhauled. But if we go around this way and we stand in the middle, this is how this viewing area looks now. And I think <clears throat> we can all agree that it looks unbelievable. It looks really, really nice, really, really pretty. And uh, the room itself has gone through a big overhaul too. So if I just quickly dive inside, I will show you kind of what I've been up to. But yeah, we ri ripped out the lower section of the rock wall. I ripped it all out and I completely redid it, redid all the plant in made a bit more of a bigger body of water um we don't get that weird splashing now so it looks like it would be splashing in that we don't get any of that anymore so yeah i've re redid all that i've actually added some nice like climbing uh frames and stuff in here as well some like natural wood a bit more interaction and whatnot and then all the planting as you can see has changed i've re i've worked some of this in as well to the rock because it was feeling really kind of like monotonous with just that rock feel uh, and then i changed all of the planting out in here as well using completely different plants now um, the only bit that really survived was the lighting and um, i've actually deleted this lighting in a lot of uh, of the build but i felt in here it really felt okay i've redone all the windows at the top as well that all got a massive overhaul and um, we've also as well got like a nice little thing in here i want to show you we've got like this little control room now gang um which is really cool. I'm absolutely loving this. I built this little control room. I want to put like an emergency access uh, gate here, um, but just in case there was any problems and, and people needed to gain access to it. Um, I wanted to put that uh, kind of on there. I completely forgot about it. Uh, we've got like a little um, drainage there as well in case the water kind of gets in and whatnot. Um, but yeah, as you can see, all of the gates and stuff are in. Got a little control unit that actually controls the uh, doors there and there so if we ever need to close it all off and then we do have this little control room and if you're wondering where this control room is it's here so there yeah, when you come up this way and you turn this corner we've got this little door yeah we've got a little control room now as you go in this area and i just felt it's these little touches that really kind of bring a build to life so yeah we kind of got that little area in there gang and then if we go back into the rainforest room as you can see it is all completely reworked like the whole thing um if we even you know go around here all these walls had to all be kind of reworked and whatnot um i thought it was really important so i could really really go to town on this whole thing i've i've literally scoured every part of this build and made sure that like we've really changed it up and we've really renewed it and um uh, that includes like the area going out onto there it includes like their walkway so as you can see we redid all of this made it all a bit more realistic and then it goes out there we'll take a look at that in a moment but yeah literally redone absolutely everything gang but i think that the new rainforest room looks really really cool there's the mixture the, the mixtures of um different textures and stuff that i've managed to like work into it as well i think it you know really really brought it to life and uh you never know we might we might see the animals using it um a bit more uh going forward 
So we carry on. You can see it's still so super, super open, like all of the walkways and everything like just feel really, really good now. Um, added some plants and whatnot. And uh, yeah, if you flip round and you take a look at the facility that way as well, you can just see kind of how open it all is. Um, we've got this uh, viewing section here for the mandrels. It's still here. It's just obviously it's just been touched up and whatever. Their yard had the biggest overhaul of all of the primates in this section. Um, so if I jump out there now, I uh, redid not all not just all of the planting but i redid all of their climbing frames did all of the rock work again we really changed it all up i really wanted to make it so much more interactive for the mandrels so they had a lot more to do be a bit more busy and stuff in here uh we've got all these like really long ropes and stuff that are like stretching out and i really really absolutely love it now um put all these guard rails these like a little electric kind of fence type deals uh along the top as well we redid all of their walkthrough as you can see it's got a proper gate on it and whatnot now um, some people might be looking at the little climbing frames and thinking they don't really work they don't really match up i tried a few different iterations of new climbing frames and it just stopped that climb that that little walkway area from working i physically without these climbing frames i couldn't get it to work so i basically built around them and i've tried to disguise them the best way possible i think the planting and the the uh, climbing frames and whatnot's really helped me to do that and um to be honest with you i like uh, they look they're an eyesore when you look at them like this but they when you look at it from a, as, as a whole they, they honestly they disappear gang they really really do um as you can see i redid all the rocks and i redid all that planting along the back and um, i was talking to you a while ago in today's episode about sight lines and that there has to be one of the most glorious sight lines that we have got because it feels like the mandrel and the gorilla yard become one you can't see that body of water that separate them and you've got all these little climbing areas as well and you know when you see the gorillas walking by and the mandrels and it really it looks so good now it really really does um so i'm absolutely loving that um, the only um, addition I would potentially make around here is I feel like this wall is a bit empty. We potentially need something there. And uh, this wall here is a bit empty as well. And I think we might need some additions on that uh, too. But we'll carry on walking up. And uh, we've now got the doors uh, here. So I've obviously improved all of the doorways and whatnot. And um, we've got this doorway here that goes out onto our keeper's yard and whatnot these windows in the doors are very very nice aren't they these are kind of like a new door that i created just for this facility and i'm absolutely in love with them gang i think they're really really cool especially when you're walking by and you just kind of catch uh, a view of some stuff um just on this outside this is still supposed to be like just an emergency exit there's no entry here but we've got this little room here as well now this area here is a lot more kind of open now because of the way the planting kind of is this used to feel a lot more like enclosed um but i'm you know i'm not mad about it um at all I'm, i i really love the way this has come out but we actually have another room here and um yeah as you can see i have got um a little kind of little sink area that we can kind of wash some things up and whatnot and there's just a bunch of like stuff in here basically that the keepers can use uh, to tidy up around the outside and also to kind of help tidy on the inside of the rainforest room because that's where that door goes so yeah i have thought of absolutely everything thought of absolutely everything where this build's concerned uh, but these little rooms are like really cool to like show you because um they're just these nice little bits of detail um we'll do the back lot area once i've shown you like all of the front basically gang um in here this is kind of like crossroads that you get between the chimpanzees where you can go and take a look at their outdoor yard or you could take a look at their indoor climbing area so if we were to go this way first as you can see it's all changed again because we've got these new benches in i ripped all the old one out we've got these really nice planters and stuff in here um, you can actually use the benches they are all working so wherever you see one of them benches they do work people can sit there um, now this room here i really felt like we didn't need any education I, I i just really wanted this to be like a bit of a quiet zone where you could see the chimps if they were indoors in their climbing area um and they were you know rummaging around and whatnot and it's just a really really cool kind of area to come and watch the chimps as you can see we've left the walls white in here um it's a bit of a change we changed all the lighting up done all the windows up there as well so it is a little different this room but i wanted it to feel like, like it was its own its own thing um, if we go in, uh, I, I did some work in here. All the windows at the back all got redone. Um, and then I touched up the climbing frames, added some ropes and whatnot. And then I've added a bit over here. 
you'll see. Um, and I had to add this because I've added this walkthrough. So this walkthrough now goes to the back lot area. And so what I've done is, in case the yard ever needs closing off, but the chimps needed, obviously, a bit more room, we've now got this walkway so they can go from one to the other. Also, if there was any you know problems out with the yard, if it was a particularly bad day weather-wise and we needed to keep the chimps in, there's that it's really easy way for them to go from their internal back lot area into this kind of like more open kind of room with the climbing frames and whatnot. It does work. I've got the doors closed because it's really, we don't really need it to be open because we've got the doors open to the outdoor yard. But it does actually work. I've made sure like I tested it all and it all really does work. And I'll be able to show you all that when we take a look at the back lot area. As you can see, the doorway is still there. We've made stuff a lot smaller and whatnot, but um, you know, it is still there, it's still there and it's all kind of working. You, you all know me, gang. I love to make things as interactive as I possibly can on all of my builds. And then this is kind of like the last uh, area of this site part of this new tour of primates of africa and it's the outdoor area to um the chimpanzees this has had a bit of an overhaul it really really has and um the only thing that i'm still a bit i'm in an iron about is this color but when i changed the outside of this to like this dark green it didn't work for me it really didn't so we're kind of leaving it so that it does feel a little uh, a little different but um as you can see the the walkway goes all the way around gang and we've changed the bollards now these these uh, wooden bollards and whatnot and i think they just look really really good really good i changed all the windows up as well tidied all the windows up um i'll give you a look from above in a moment but yeah if we carry on walking around you'll see we've got the education and whatnot and then in the middle, there's this little statue uh, of uh, the a chimpanzee. This is actually a donation bin. Um, and you'll see on the wall that um, help, help support our efforts. And this is like talking about the uh, the rescue and rehabilitation rehabilitation centres that uh, Tropical Wings work alongside to kind of help the, uh, the plight of the chimpanzee in the wild and stuff. And so people are always telling me I need to add more stuff like this. And I've really tried to concentrate on that sort of thing. So, yeah, we've kind of added that. And I think that looks really, really nice. Um, and then, yeah, we flip around. The yard hasn't actually gone through that much of, uh, of a rework, to be honest with you, gang. I just redid the plants. The climbing frames were, were great. Um, but, yeah, we just redid the plants. The plants on the outside, um, I didn't do that. I haven't finished that, but they do need redoing. We probably had to, uh, need to add some stuff. It was outside of the primates of Africa, so I decided you know, to just leave it alone. But, yeah, not a lot's really changed in here. I've made the doorways smaller, but that's about it, gang. Like, really, I didn't have to do a lot. I changed, changed the planting out, and, yeah, Bob's your uncle. It looked really good. The big thing for this was cleaning this area up because this was a mess. It really, really was. It was a complete mess. But adding the plants, adding the benches, these education uh, things, um, you know, the, 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 new, the new bollards and whatnot. And if you go from above and you take a look at the window, windows they're so much cleaner as well really changed all them out worked really hard on like tidying all them up and uh you know that like from above it just looks a lot neater a lot cleaner and the yard looks amazing as well with the climbing frame um well, this is the uh the castle chimpanzee isn't it after castle buyers from stranger things with the little thing on top um uh, but yeah it looks really really nice and then as you come to the end of the primates of africa um uh, build you come to the gift shop don't you and I, this has gone for a bit of a rework redid the doors uh same as uh, just a match up and then yeah this had a real facelift in here um redid all, all of the counter redid the lighting we've added a vending machine a uh, little custom freezer and then we've got these bins with soft toys in and uh we've got all of these um these uh shelving units here with loads of items on we've got these t-shirts and stuff as well there's a bit of wall there to add some stuff at a later date should i wish but um, didn't want to go too overboard with uh, with all the pieces and then if we flip around I've added these two new windows to kind of flood some natural light in and you'll see we've really made some changes to the outside over there um, as well so yeah the, the, the gift shop looks really really cool now um, and it's finished as well it never felt finished before um, and so yeah if we go outside you're going to see there's this brand new uh, statue on the outside of the build. There used to be a plant here. I decided to rip that planting out because we redid all the planting around here. And I just felt like it was a bit overkill having this plant. And adding a statue is really nice. Um, there's a vista point on the front under the ground. Um, so people can come up and take their photo and stuff with it. Really, really cool. It looks really good as well when people are doing it. And then, yeah, as you can see, 
changed all the planting out this is uh all been added actually this plant in this side um and we've got this little bit for the guttering and whatnot but yeah we've changed all the planting there added a bunch of planting over here and then we've added loads of planters so uh if i go above you're going to see we've added this one this one this one this one was reworked and then we've uh you know got all this plant here and it just looks so much more lush this is all about just trying to make this zoo feel a lot more natural and less of a concrete jungle, to be honest with you. But I really feel like we've um, we've managed to do it. One more area quickly to show you before we dive over to the backstage stuff is um, is this area over here because this has completely changed as well, gang. Um, all the planting completely redone. We've done all new fences in. The whole area here was all ripped out, redone. All this planting was redone. Um, and we're going to take a good look. I have started work on this, but this is going to be part of the next, um, you know, episodes, I guess you could call it, um, because this is sort of, I mean, I'm sort of including this with Primates of Africa, but we'll talk about that when we get to the what's happening next part uh, of today's video. But yeah, as you can see, look at the planting, looking really nice, isn't it? Really, really natural and whatnot. Now, I made this really unique planter. Um, I wanted there to, the, 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 I wanted to have the ability for, guests to walk around go to the viewing area or walk straight on and um i just didn't know i was going to do it and i tried a few different uh things and then i came up with this planter and honestly how good does that look it looks so nice and it works it works gang they walk through the middle they walk around the edges they stand around here as well looking in it's amazing like really when you see it in action it is amazing it really really is um and uh, we changed all the plant like i said uh, but we've really really changed this area we've cleaned it all up basically is what i've done so we uh first started with this wall uh i changed all that up um i've actually made this building smaller we've actually taken this down a bit um uh, it's, st it's, got, it's still got to be finished but I actually if you're looking at the wooden panels I took three panels off and we've actually brought this right down brought all the building down it was way too large added these fences this this wall is going to come out um, I don't really like this wall anymore and I've got an idea of the sort of wall I'm going to do but redid all of the steps and whatnot got these um Got these grates in again, um, just kind of reworking this completely. New gates to go out to the back, and then as you can see, new plants. Uh, redid the walkover area completely, ripped it all apart, redid it. It's a very similar shape, we just use new materials and new techniques and whatnot. Um, to kind of play into the realism a little bit, I've added these electric cables uh, on there um, to kind of prevent them from basically climbing on or being able to climb on top. Because in all honesty, this isn't probably the most realistic uh, walk over uh, uh, kind of thing for the mandrels, but it's you know it's the best we could do really. And then again, a bit like the uh, other yard, I needed to hide this because when I deleted it out and tried to add anything new, it didn't work. So I've basically just tried to hide it basically um, through some climbing frames. But obviously, the biggest change is that we do have these like little areas now um, where we've got these little. Um, these little uh, like fences to kind of like viewing fences to lean on and whatnot. With all the education, as you can see, we've kind of got all these educational balls. Please do not feed the animals as well. Um, and we've redone all of the wall. And then if we come around this way, we've kind of got a double one for the mandrel as well. And then you get a really good look at all of the changes that I kind of made to this area. Um, I ripped all of that rock work off and I've completely redone it. Um, redone all of the climbing stuff, all of the planting uh, as well. Uh, I, I ripped it all out, redid all of the roof here. We've got like a trim with all these guardrails and stuff on there. And then the biggest change, the real, real biggest change over here, as you can see, we've got another little viewing area, is uh, if I take you into the back lot uh, area uh, we've changed that door slightly uh, as you can see but if we go around here you can see we've got this like um, plant in I, I, I'm loving doing this by the way um, so it looks like it's really growing out over onto the kind of that pavement but yeah if we come around here I've completely changed it uh, back here, basically. Um, so uh, we've got now got this little area for you know some bits and bobs to be kept. As you can see, that new gate and whatnot and the new wall, uh, little hose pipe, and then we've got this door now that goes into 
an internal area here and I've completely changed it. It isn't the biggest. It really, really isn't the biggest area. Um, I've just realized I need to add one of them control units in here for these doors, don't I? Um, but yeah, as you can see, you can gain access inside. And then when you do go inside, they can actually use this area this works these they can get through these doors and they can come and sleep and they can kind of use this area should they wish and it's all over here as well we've got cameras set up in here um to keep an eye on it um and then we've got this new fence but this is completely new all of this is completely new it's a brand new area and it's a really really cool area and i think this area here just looks so much nicer one of my favorite views now as well is this because look how lush it looks. And when you're standing here, you get the green coming through this, and it really makes the outline of the animals pop. Um, you've got this nice plant in here. Just, I, look, I honestly love this area now. I really, 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 really love it. Um, but yeah, that's uh, the brand new part there. Now, I really don't want this video to be too much longer. So let me dive in, show you the back lot, and then we can get to the what's happening next because we have been at this a long time. So this is the uh, way that we can go. So this yard, completely, obviously, redone. Uh, I've added, like, water butts, and um, I, I showed off all of the roof before, but we've redone all of the roof, gang. But I showed that off in last episode, so I'm not really too worried about showing too much of that. But as you can see, we just added so much stuff, loads of items back here, um, <clears throat> hoses, uh, taps the lot they probably actually need to be a bit higher up and then some toys and things like that um, but yeah if we go through here you're gonna see kitchen is still here my only gripe with the back lot area is that these um, hallways are a bit wide um, but I I use the smallest path and that's just how it is that's just this is the width you get so that's just one of those things um, we probably do actually need a direction sign back here because uh, we've got stuff over here and we've got stuff over here. But let's go in this direction first. So if you go this way, this is your doorway into, you've got two doors here, viewing window. This is into the gorillas. And then this is a storage cupboard. And then this is into the mandrels. So we'll go into the mandrels first. So this is the new um, internal area for the mandrels. You're going to see these beautiful pipes and stuff. I've really, really tried hard to really get this really cool industrial kind of feel. Um, all brand new cages and whatnot. I'm using those marquee beams because they just are unbelievable. They really, all these climbing frames. We've got this little area here, which is like a, a walkthrough. The doors, they they can be slid, you know, slid into place, basically. Um you can separate animals. You can even use this bit here uh, as a way to kind of like give uh, animals medication, things like that. You know, there's just many, many, you know, little things that had to go into kind of thinking about this. Um, all the windows are uh, all completely redone, uh, all been really cleaned up and like really just made super, super nice. As you can see, all the climbing areas are all custom inside, like all, made all these, um, you, know, you know, new for all this Um Come around this side, and you can see many more over here with the door that goes out onto the yard. We've got like a little area here with our taps and whatnot, little table, and then you know, just some items and, and things like that. So, yeah, really, really come out beautifully. That did. Uh, we've got our storage room in here, and I'm taking you in the storage room because you know, I I've done the storeroom. Like, look at this. I've done, I've made these custom sinks, um, which I was surprised how quick I put them together but like honestly like look they've actually got plug holes and everything like I really really went to town on this and uh, making all these items and um we've got all new fresh uh cabinets in here which I'll be able to use all over the zoo as well um I didn't want to use the same design I'd been using other places but I've actually got like new ones now these look amazing um and then yeah there's just a lot of stuff in here basically but this is just you know like a bit of extra storage um for all the items that the zookeepers you know potentially might need and then if we go through this uh door you can see there is a window here so they can kind of look in if they want but if we go through this door this one takes you into the uh, backstage stuff for the gorillas so uh on this side you'll see kind of got a, a sink in here with uh another table and whatnot um little area over here with your taps and things you've got your little control units for all your gates to let them in and out um, and things like that and then if we 
I've just added stuff like pipes on the wall. Really, really tried to add so much detail. If we go around this way, you're going to see that, again, another control unit, more items on the walls, um, and we've got another door and another kind of like wet area, basically, uh, with more um, bits and bobs over here. So we've actually got an area where we can separate the animals. So this, uh, you know, a gorilla can go in this area. We can actually have a gorilla in this area. And then we've got the main part here, which is their bigger area where they all kind of stay together, um, which has had a real big rework. Not only have we got all these new vents because all the windows were redone, but we got these brand new windows that I've made um, for this area as well, uh, just to flood a bit more light, and then we've got all the climbing frames um, as as well uh, into this area, and uh, yeah, it just really, really feels really, really uh, cohesive now. Really cool, absolutely loving it. And then if you were to go around the other side of the building, all the way around here, this is your door into the chimpanzees, basically. So if you were to go in here, this is that walkway I was talking about that goes over and into that room. It does work, like I said, and that goes out into the yard. Um, the door this side slides down here, hence what all this is, but over here, um, it's operated by a switch and it slides across basically. Uh, we've got all of our kind of wet uh, area here, door that goes into that room, door that goes out onto the yard. Uh, as you can see, switches are all there. And then we've got this little area here, little prep table with some items and whatnot. Um, and then if we go around here, we've got another switch um, back around this side because we've got a bit where we can separate the chimpanzees so we can separate them into there or into there and they can also really be sorted and separated to go into there um, it's just a little climbing frame that gets them up onto that area and then as you can see they've got much more kind of climbing frames and whatnot bits that are even connected because we had to put a top on the cage back here because this room was designed very differently to the others so yeah if we go around this way you can see um, all of the back lot and again we've got one of those windows uh, in here if I just zoom out and I just go to the top of the building you'll be able to see this is kind of those windows in all their glory um, they were quite difficult to make I had to use lots of pieces on the end here just to kind of fill this in but um, you, you know if you can get it right you can get these windows looking really cool super effective absolutely loving them uh, and then as far as the rest of the kind of like the roof and whatnot is concerned you'll see it's all completely finished off all the vents and whatnot all like really strategically placed and uh, yeah that is the new and improved primates of africa let me know what you make of it my friends in the comment section and now the video has gone on quite long enough to be honest with you but we do need to discuss what's going to be happening next in the project now um if you're not a member of the discord uh you can find the link in the uh description box my friends feel free to go and uh, follow it because on there i supply a lot of updates and i supplied an update recently where i was going to be taking a bit of a break um from reworking uh you know uh, bigger parts of the zoo and um, we were gonna dive over and we were gonna complete um adventure africa now as you can see there's a sign here letting the guests know that from june primates of, uh, sorry um adventure africa will be off limits to the public it's all going to be closed up um and uh, they're not going to be able to use it because adventure africa will be closed to the public from the 6th of June. The existing area will be undergoing a redevelopment as well as the completion of our new additions of Safari Sunrise and Predators of the Serengeti. So, let me talk to you about my plans, gang, and how this is going to play out over the next few episodes. So basically, first and foremost, this is going to be made smaller. It's way too big. It's all going to be made smaller. The tunnel's all going to get a bit of a rework. All of this area is going to get a big old rework as well. I'm including this as part of Adventure Africa because it is the walkway over to it. Now, the first thing we are going to be doing in Adventure Africa is reworking the existing part of Adventure Africa. After that's reworked, then we will move on and begin work on Predators of the Serengeti and then Safari Sunrise. Those are the two names I've come up with for the two areas. Let me know what you make of them. Predators of the Serengeti is actually a name that's been nicked by a real-life zoo, to be honest with you. That's not original at all, but I really like the idea of just the Predators all in one area. Um, but the uh, 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 
Safari Sunrise is my area for the big kind of Safari area. So what we're going to be doing is a big old rework on the uh, existing part of the zoo. We're actually going to take each animal, we're going to completely rework all their habitats. I've got ideas to uh, rework the warthogs a little bit as well. Um, the hyenas are going to be moving into the predators of the Serengeti section. So we are going to have a big area there where the hyenas uh, once were. Um, and I don't know what to do. I genuinely don't know what to do with it. I don't know what to put there. We're probably going to have to delete it all out. We're probably going to have to, um, you know, uh, move the building. The the hyenas, uh, the hyenas outbuilding. I want to try to save all of it and bring it over and use it in the Predators of Serengeti section because I like the building. It needs a bit of work on the inside and it needs a little bit of change here and there, but I love the building, so I really want to be able to move that over. But that hab is going to have to be ripped apart and we're going to have to put something else in there. I really don't know what to put in there. We've got the pygmy hippos and they're an African species um, and I'm really considering putting them over it. I feel like there's enough room there I really, really do feel like there's enough room there to put the pygmy hippos in that area. And we've already kind of got this bit where like it's been banked down and whatnot. I just need to find a way of getting a viewing area maybe to like the water area or whatever. But maybe we could do that on the internal building. I'm not sure. But maybe the pygmy hippos could go there. I'm really not sure. But I've got to think of a species. But the hyenas are being moved. Um, and then we're just going to take each one, like I say, one by one. Um, I did mention about potentially making this smaller um, like the fennet foxes and someone said no i think like with with um because you've got aardvarks and you've got meerkats meerkats can you know have a, a lot of numbers i think the, the size is probably pretty okay but what i'm actually thinking of doing is having this as maybe like a separate um meerkat uh, area having this like tunnel but like maybe what i'm thinking of doing now is um having a gate on the tunnel and actually having some meerkats that are just over here because what i'm thinking of actually doing is getting rid of all this area here and bringing this warthog around a bit further and then having a a, a uh, body of water there basically um and then having the having the meerkats and i'm going to make um probably going to be changing all the walls and making a lot of it glass and so from here if you were looking it looked like the warthogs and the meerkats were like at one uh, i think that's a really good way we could do that and still keep all the vegetation all lush around the edges and whatnot but it'll just give us more interaction because the whole thing with adventure africa was, was that it was that we wanted all of the habs to kind of interact with each other and i mean that's a good way of potentially doing that so that's the only real change that warthogs might go through because i really like their hab um all the the planting is all going to get ripped out and redone and the internals on the buildings is all going to get redone as well um but yeah and then we'll move on we'll probably redo all of the planting over here um this uh safari lodge uh, restaurant is going to be probably deleted and rebuilt i'm not a fan I just never have been. That's probably going to get done. This little area here is going to get all sorted. Um, and then the fennet foxes, um, I'm going to be making them smaller. I don't think their hab, outdoor hab needs to be anywhere as large as it is. They've got that indoor area. This isn't going to move. This is like stay and put. I really, really like this facility. Um, this is the bats and whatnot. So they're going to move. And then once all of this is done, all these kind of reworks are done, then that will probably be an episode. Um, I might even do it like one animal at a time. I'm not sure yet, but that will be an episode. And then what we're going to do is... Eat each, we'll go back to each habitat build will be an episode but what we're doing is we're not doing anything else until adventure africa's finished my whole thing now is i have to start working on adventure africa get this bit down here finished then we can work over you know into the rest of the zoo because i've said it in my update video 2023 tropical wings is going to be finished and so i need to be a lot more on it and i need to be a lot more streamlined and so that my friends is what's happening next and so there you have it we are done and dusted with today's episode that's quite a lengthy video i do apologize it's one of those things gang i'm sure you'll all enjoy it anyway let me know what you've made of today's episode the new build the new primates of africa um, and i hope you're enjoying the cinematics as well. If you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing. It's the best way to support me. And if you have enjoyed the video, show some appreciation by giving me a thumbs up and dropping me a like on the video. If you check out the description box, you'll find not only a link to my Discord to become a member of that, but you can become a member of Patreon to support me further on the channel. But my friends, until next time, be sure to stay safe, stay humble, and I'll see you real soon 
for another new adventure of Tropical Wing Zoo.